Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this cornucopia here that I made. I already got it filled with decorations and stuff. But it's actually really easy. This is what it kind of looks like from the other side. And now in the end, when you finish, you're going to notice that it kind of lays flat. And I said that if you wanted to spray it with fabric stiffener, that you could, you know, to stiffen it up. What I did is kind of stuff the back with yarn. And then I filled it with some pumpkins and some flowers and stuff. Now, I was going to spray mine with fabric stiffener, but once I got it stuffed, it really stands on its own. So there really may not be no need for it. That's something that you can determine in the end if you want to do that. But this is what mine looks like when it's all stuffed. Now, remember, when it's not stuffed, it lays pretty flat. But stuffing it really holds it together. Like I said, I stuffed it about half full of yarn, just yarn scraps or whatever. And then I put a bunch of pumpkins and gourds and um, some flowers and stuff in it for decorations. And it makes a nice little table piece. It's really nice. It turned out good. I think that's what it looks like so it's actually really easy so let's go ahead and get started on it okay for this project I'm using Red Heart just regular Red Heart Super Saver it's just a medium weight 100% four ply acrylic and you can use any type of four ply yarn that you have you don't have to use this brand um, the color I'm using is buff and then I actually grabbed Walmart's new mainstay brand i thought i was grabbing super saver because they were right by each other but they're almost identical um so it's just a medium weight four ply also and the color i'm using in this is i don't see it you guys probably see it oh taupe heather i thought i was grabbing cafe latte i don't know but i was in a hurry but but either one of these brands or the mix of the brands is fine or any other type of four ply yarn that you have and then i'm going to be using a n which is a nine millimeter crochet hook now i'm going to be working with two strands at the same time one of each color just to give it a little bit of a different look i guess depth or dimension or something i guess so you want to start with a slip knot on your hook with both skein or both pieces of yarn and then we're going to work a chain of three there's one two three now i'm going to slip stitch back into the first stitch to form a ring now you can use the magic circle here if you'd like i always kind of put my finger there that way i don't lose my ring i don't go shut okay and now i'm going to chain one now I'm going to work six single crochets through the ring. So I'm going to go right through and I'm going to single crochet six times. So there's one. Make sure you're grabbing both loops or both pieces of yarn when you grab your loop. There's two, three, four, five, and six now i'm going to pull my tails and that should make that circle a little smaller and later on we can uh, sew it together and close it up all the way so we're going to be working in rounds so you're going to need a stitch marker and i am just going to use a piece of yarn for my stitch marker so i'm going to set it place it right here in between where I just stopped and where I begin over here. So now what I'm going to do, I have six single crochets now. I'm going to jump over to the first single crochet and I'm going to put one single crochet into it. Like that. And now the next single crochet, I'm going to put two single crochets in it. And then the next single crochet will be one single crochet. And then the next single crochet, I'm going to put two single crochets. And then the next single crochet will be one single crochet. And then the next single crochet will be two single crochets. And then you'll be back at your stitch marker. So go ahead and put two into that last one. 
like that. And now you should have nine single crochets around. So what we're gonna do, that was for round two. For round three, we're gonna pull up our stitch marker and we're gonna go around again. This time we're just gonna put one single crochet in every single stitch. So we're not gonna increase this time, just one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker. kind of it's not the easiest working with two strands but you'll get the hang of it okay and then when you make it back around at, to your stitch marker at the end of round three you still should have nine single crochets and there you can see the point of the cornucopia starting to form now we're going to move our stitch marker up for and start round four Now what we're going to do is we're going to put one single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochets into the next. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way around. One single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next and then two single crochets into the next and you just want to repeat that till you get to your stitch marker so you'll probably be able to repeat that one more time so one single crochet into the next one single crochet into the next and then two single crochets into the last like that and now you should have a total of 12 single crochets on round four once you get back to your stitch marker. Now what I'm going to do is pull my stitch marker out, move it up. Now for round five, I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Okay, when you make it back to your stitch marker, you should still have 12 single crochet at the end of round five. So now we're going to move our stitch marker up. I'm going to tuck them tails in. They're starting to get in my way. There we go. Now I'm going to start round six again. My, I'm going to put one single crochet into the first stitch. one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochets into the next so it's kind of a repeat what we did in round four I guess one single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochets into the next one into the next, one into the next, and then two into the next. One into the next, one into the next, and then two into your last. 
and now you should have a total of 16 stitches now at the end of round six. Let me count mine. Sixteen. Okay. Now to start round seven, I'm going to move my stitch marker up. And now I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around for round seven. So one single in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back at the beginning. And you still should have 16 stitches when you make it back to your stitch marker. Okay, once you make it back around at the end of round seven, you just and you have your 16 stitches, just go ahead and move your stitch marker up. Now this time we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So one, 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 and then we'll put two single crochets into the next. So go ahead and start off and put one single crochet into the first stitch, and one single crochet into the second stitch, one single crochet into the third stitch, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. And that's what we're going to repeat all the, this time around on round eight. This is what we're working on round eight. One single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three, and then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet in each of the next three stitches. and two single crochets into the next and you should be able to repeat that one more time before you get to your stitch marker so one single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then two single crochets in your last stitch and now you should have at the end of round eight a total of 20 stitches so now what we're going to do for round nine is we're going to pull our stitch marker up, move it up, and now we're just going to work one single crochet in every stitch around. Just one in every stitch for round nine, and when you get back around, you still should have 20 single crochets. Okay, once you make it to the end of round nine and you have your 20 single crochets, go ahead and move your marker up. Now, this time, we're going to put one single crochet into the next nine stitches. So we're not going to increase that much this time. So there's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and nine, and then we'll put two single crochets into the next stitch, into the tenth stitch there. Now you should be able to repeat that one more time. So one single crochet in the next nine stitches. There's one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then two single crochets into your last stitch before the stitch marker. And now you should have a total of 22 stitches at the end of round 10. So we only increase by two stitches that round. And now we're going to pull our stitch marker up. And now we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch around back to the beginning for round 11. So when we get back around, after working one single crochet in every stitch, we still should have 22 single crochet. Okay, when you make it back around at the end of round 11 and you have your 22 
single crochets. What we're going to do is just move our marker up and we're going to do an increase round again, but we're not going to increase that much again. So what we're going to do is one single crochet into the next 10 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then two single crochets into the next. So there's one, and there's two. Now you should be able to repeat that inc that round one more time, if or that increase that repeat one more time before we get back to the stitch marker. So one single crochet into the next 10 stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, in and two single crochets into your last stitch. So now you should have a total of 24 stitches at the end of round 12. So we're going to pull our stitch marker up. Round 13, we're just going to put one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around back to the beginning. And when you get back to the beginning, you still should have 24 single crochets. Once you make it back around, at the end of round uh, 13, you want to go ahead and move your stitch marker up. And we'll start on round 14. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put one single crochet in the first five stitches, and then it'll be two single crochet in the sixth one. So, one single crochet in the first five. There's one. Two, three, four, and five, and then two single crochets into the next. And that's the repeat now. One single crochet into the next five stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then two single crochets into the next. Now you want to repeat this until you get back to your stitch marker. One single crochet into the next five. Two single crochets into the next. And you should be able to repeat that one more time before you get to your stitch marker. One single crochet into the next five. And then two single crochets into your last stitch. And now, at the end of round 14, you should have 28 single crochets. Now what you want to do is move your stitch marker up and now for round, or for round 15 we're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. And when you get back to the beginning you should have a total of 28 single crochets still. So round 15 one single crochet in every stitch until you get to your stitch marker. Okay, once you make it back around at the end of round 15 and you got your 28 single crochets, what we're going to do for round 16, move our stitch marker up and we're just going to repeat round 15 again. So we're just going to go along and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch again. So we just did two rows, this will be our second row of one single crochet in every stitch. And 
and when you get back to the beginning you still should have your 28 single crochets okay once you come to the end of round 16 and you got your 28 single crochets let's go ahead and move your marker up and now what we're going to do on round 17 is we're going to do some increases again so we're going to put one single crochet into the next six stitches so there's one two three four five six and then we're going to put two single crochets into the next so that's a repeat what we're going to do this time around one single crochet into the next six stitches there's one two three four five six and then two single crochets into the next so go ahead and repeat that all the way around for round 17 one single crochet into the next six and then two single crochet into the next and when you get back around you should have a total of 32 stitches okay once you make it back around at the end of round 17 and you have 32 stitches go ahead and pull your stitch marker up now for rounds 18 and 19 it's just going to be one single crochet in every stitch so two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch and at the end of each round you will have 32 single crochets so go ahead and work this round 18 one single crochet in every stitch <clears throat> you'll have 32 stitches and then move your stitch marker up and work round 19 the very same way one single crochet in every stitch so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick okay once you make it to the end of round 19 we're going to, and you got your 32 stitches we're going to move our stitch marker up and now we're going to put one single crochet into the next seven stitches so there's one two three four five six seven and then two single crochets into the next and that's the repeat one single crochet into the next seven stitches there's one two three four five six seven and then two single crochets into the next so go ahead and repeat that until you get to your stitch marker and when you make it back to your stitch marker you should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of round 20. okay when you make it to the end of round 20 and you got your 36 stitches go ahead and move your marker up and now for round 21 we're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch so now it's just one round of one single crochet in every stitch this is round 21 and when you get back to the beginning you still should have 36 single crochets okay I have made it to the end of round 22 and I have my 36 I'm sorry the round end of round 21 and I have my 36 stitches I'm gonna move my marker up now for round 22 I'm gonna put one single crochet into the first five stitches so there's one two three four five and then I'm gonna put two single crochets right here in the, in the next one and that's the repeat for this round one single crochet into the next five stitches it's one two three four five and then two single crochets into the next 
and you want to repeat that all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker and when you get back to your stitch marker you should have a total of 42 single crochets now at the end of round 22. Okay once you make it back around to the end of round at the end of round 22 you have 42 single crochets go ahead and move your stitch marker up and now for round 23 we're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch around. So when you get back around, you should have a total of 42 single crochets still. And just to let you know, I did mess up the last round and I had to frog almost the whole entire thing. So don't get discouraged if you mess up. I don't. I just keep on going and I learn from it. But anyways, you should have uh, 42 single crochets now. When you get back around to your stitch marker at the end of round 23. Okay, once you make it back around at the end of round 23 and you have 42 stitches, round 24, we are going to do one single crochet into the first six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Six, and then two single crochets into the next stitch and now that is the repeat for this round one single crochet into the next six stitches two three four five and six and then two single crochets into the next and you want to repeat that all the way around and when you get back around you should have a total of 48 stitches at the end of round 24. Okay I've made it around at the end of round 24 move my stitch marker up and now for round 25 it's just one single crochet in every stitch all the way around and you should have a total you should still have a total of 48 stitches when you make it back around back to your stitch marker. Okay, once you make it round to the end of round 25, now we're going to be doing increases and we're not going to be putting uh, rows of single crochet in between them um, right now. So we're going to move our stitch marker up. And for round 26, we're going to start off by putting two single crochets into the very first stitch. Like that. And now we're going to work one single crochet into the next seven stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two single crochets into the next stitch. One. Two, and then one single crochet in the next seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's the repeat now. Two single crochets into the next stitch. And one single crochet into the next seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you start again with two single crochets in the next and one single crochet into the next seven all the way back around to your stitch marker. And you make it back around, you should have 54 single crochets. Okay, when you make it back around, you should not have ended in two single crochets in the same stitch like we did previously when we were increasing. You should have in, should have did two single crochets over here, and then you should have seven single crochets left. We just did it opposite that time. 
and we do, we're going to do it opposite every row that way it's it's uh becomes a little rounder here and it don't start always increasing at the same spot and then it starts to look like straight like an octagon kind of if you know what i mean but i'll show once you get to go on a little bit more you'll understand what i'm talking about so for round um 26 we just made it to the end here and you want to pull your stitch marker up and you should have 54 stitches now this time we're going to put one single crochet into the next eight stitches so here's one two three four five six seven and eight and now the next stitch you'll get two single crochets and that's a repeat now this time around one single crochet into the next eight stitches there's one two three four five six seven eight and then two single crochets into the next so go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around one single crochet in the next eight and then two single crochets into the next one and when you get back around you should have a total of 60 stitches at the end of round 27 okay I've made it to the end of round 27 and this time you should have ended with two single crochets into that last stitch and you'll have 60 stitches you want to move your stitch marker up round 28 we're going to start off with putting two single crochets into the very first stitch and then one single crochet in each of the next nine stitches so there's one two three four five six seven eight and nine and now it's two single crochets into the next stitch there's one and two and then one single crochet in each of the next nine so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Two single crochets into the next, and one single crochet into the next nine. And you want to repeat that all the way around. And when you get back around, you should have a total of 66 stitches at the end of round 28. Okay, I made it to the end of round 28, and I have 66 stitches, and you should not have ended in two uh, double crochets that time. You should have did their two double crochets back here, and then you should have had nine single crochets in a row. Now, for round 29, we're going to go back to putting one single crochet in every stitch after a few rounds. So round 29 is one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until you get back to the beginning and when you get back to the beginning you should have 66 stitches still so I'm going to continue working until I get back all the way back around Okay, I've made it to the end of round 29 after doing one single crochet in every stitch and I have 66, 66 stitches so I'm going to move my stitch marker up and now what I'm going to do is put one single crochet into the first 10 stitches. So there's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I'm going to put two single crochets into the next. And that is the repeat. One single crochet into the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two single crochets into the next. And you want to repeat this all the way back around to your stitch marker. And when you get back around, you should have a total of 72 stitches at the end of row around 30. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 30, and I have 72 stitches. So what I'm going to do is move my stitch marker up. And now for round 31, it's going to be one single crochet in every stitch now. So one single crochet every stitch around until I get back to my stitch marker. And when I get back to my sti stitch marker, I still should have a total of 72 stitches at the end of round 31. Okay, I made it back around at the end of round 31. I'm going to move my stitch marker up and I'm just going to repeat round 31 again. I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch, just like I did the round before. So round 32 is just a repeat of round 31. One single crochet in every stitch. And when you get back around, you should have a total of 72 stitches still. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 32, so I'm going to pull my stitch marker up. And now what I'm going to do is put one single crochet into the first 11 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and then two single crochets into the next. So that is a repeat this time around. One single crochet into the next eleven, and then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet into the next eleven, and then two single crochets into the next. And you repeat that until you get back to your stitch marker. And when you make it back to your stitch marker, you should have a total of 78 stitches at the end of round 33. Okay, I've come to the end of round 33. I'm going to move my stitch marker up. I have 78 stitches. Now for round 34 and 35, it's one single crochet in every stitch. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. So right now we're working on round 34 one single crochet in every stitch and when you make it back to your stitch marker you should have 78 stitches move your stitch marker up and for round 35 one single crochet in every stitch back to the stitch marker and you still should have 78 stitches so I'm gonna go ahead and complete those two rounds real quick okay I made it to in around 35 and I have my 78 stitches now what I'm going to do is move my stitch marker up. I'm going to do increase one more time. So I'm going to put one single crochet into the next 12 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
and 12 and then two single crochets into the next so that's the repeat this time around one single crochet into the next 12 and then two single crochet in the next and you just repeat that all the way around and you should have a total of 84 stitches at the end of round 36 when you get back here to the stitch marker okay I made it back around at the end of round 36 I have 84 stitches move my stitch marker up now I'm just going to do one one round of one single crochet in every stitch for the, so this is round 37 one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until you get back to the beginning and this is going to be the last round before we put our edge on so one single crochet in every stitch and when you get back to the beginning you still still should have 84 single crochet okay I made it to the end of round 37 and I have 84 stitches now what I'm gonna do is a slip stitch right here into the next stitch where my stitch marker is so just slip stitch right into that like that and I'm gonna take my stitch marker out now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work like that now I'm gonna go right back into that same stitch that I slip stitched into right down here and put one single crochet and now I'm gonna skip two stitches make sure you pull this back and you're skipping this first stitch here so skip skip and in the next stitch I'm going to put five double crochets so that's going to be a shell there's one two three four and five and then I'm going to skip two stitches skip skip and I'm going to put one single crochet into the next and that's kind of the repeat now I'm going to skip two stitches skip skip and put a shell five double crochets into the next skip two stitches skip skip and single crochet into the next the reason why we turned our work is so it puts the good side of the shells kind of facing like when you put stuff in it you'll be able to see the good side of the shells so again we skip two stitches skip skip and shell into the next so five doubles Then we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, single crochet into the next. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around. I'll skip two and shell, skip two and single crochet, skip two and shell, skip two and single, all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, once you make it back to the beginning, you should have two stitches left to skip. And I know it looks like there might be three there. But if you look at this one, it's actually the one we started in. So here's one, two. This one's already been worked. So skip these two and slip stitch into the first single crochet. Not the chain one, but the first single crochet. And then we can tie that off. Hide the tails. And then you can kind of decorate it any way that you want. And if you want to use fabric spray to make it stand up better, and that's fine. You can do that. See these kind of, let me pull my camera back a little bit. These kind of flip up a little bit, so that's the front. And what I'll probably do is stuff the bottom part with a little bit of yarn, and then um, I'll probably spray fabric spray on it so it stands up, and then I'll put some flowers and pumpkins and stuff in it just for decoration, or you can decorate it however you want, but that's it. That's all there is to it. That's what it kind of looks like flat, but yeah, get some spray starch, some fabric spray, give it a spray, make sure these these stay flipped up how you want them and then um, 
Yeah, I'll stuff the bottom with yarn. Mini pumpkins and gourds to put in mine. And some fake flowers just for decoration. So I'll go ahead and get that all fixed up and then I'll put a picture of it at the end. But that's it. Uh, don't forget to uh, uh, check out all my own tutorials. I have a whole bunch of them. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, please. And check me out on Facebook and Instagram. I'll put links to all that stuff below. And also, you can find a link to the written pattern to this below, too. And until next time, have a good day.